Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got a special video for you. Well, okay, special might be a stretch, but today guys, I'm here to talk about Maelstrom. The one, the only, the card that's probably making me the most excited for Aqua Force since, um, I heard about it. So I didn't cover this when it first came out, like, Tuesday or Thursday or Friday or whenever it did. Because I'm tired and I work a lot. So my release schedules are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with that being said, please subscribe if you're new, if you enjoy the content. And let's break down uh, Blue Storm, what is it? Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom. I love the name, so yeah. So we've gone over the name. He's a grade 3 with 12k power, 1 critical from Aqua Force, a tier dragon, and has the Excel gift mark. His skills consist of uh act vanguard once per turn counter plus one all your units in the front row gain a 3k buff that's pretty good in my opinion um auto when one of your rear guards attack hits a vanguard if it is the third or fourth battle of this turn cost this card two cards from your hand and stay on this unit so at first when i first heard the skill i didn't realize it was third or fourth battle of this turn i thought it was um, any time after the third battle, you could activate this skill. Because this is how I was viewing Aqua Force, okay? Stick with me here for a second, because we're going to move on to the next card. And then there are some cards from the trial deck, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But, yeah. I wanted to go over this card. Um, Tidal Assault. Um, fairly good card. He's a grade 2 with 9k power. 1 critical from Aqua Force. And is the, he's an Aqua Droid. So his skill is auto rearguard once per turn. When this unit attack, attacks, cost soul blast one, stand this unit. If it's the second battle of the turn or more, this unit gets minus 5k. So how I thought this was going to work was you would go through one, two attacks with him. Now, this is if you have three or more out on the field. But one, two attacks with him. You move into Maelstrom. You get your third battle. And then, from there, any time you attack with any of your other two, he would potentially hit. But now that I know it's third or fourth turn, you go through one attack, you attack with Maelstrom, and then you have two opportunities after Maelstrom to restand Maelstrom, I think. Um, there's a third, discard two cards from your hand, stand this unit. So, he essentially just restands himself, which is pretty good. Um, at least that's how I think I'm reading it. If it, it, I hope that's how it's right. But he gets minus 5k, so you throw him in the Excel mark to give him plus 10. If you're lucky, you get a front trigger. He gets essentially a plus 15k, plus 15k as an additional attack instead of 20, because his second battle would be minus 5. Now, his skill is still very much usable and is still very good. So, yeah. Overall, these were the two cards I think Coalition had um, posted. I don't think there was anything else new since these. I think these might have come out yesterday. Yeah, I think it was just that. We have G Dancing Cutlass, I think, was announced prior to that. Which, we'll just pop that in. So, I'll go over Dancing Cutlass, I guess. Cost, buying one of your other Dancing, dancing Cutlass in the drop zone. Put this card to the top of your deck. Put the top card of your deck into the drop zone. Call this card to to rear and counter charge one. Fairly decent in my opinion, but he is not the MVP. Um, Maelstrom here might have actually convinced me to pick up the deck, depending on how the rest of the cards for the remaining trial deck and set shows themselves. So only time will tell how I truly feel about this. But I think overall. I've covered what I wanted to. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace. Also, go check out any other YouTuber besides me, like the Psalm Vanguard, Black Moon Dragon, Coffee Man, etc., etc., Death Fight, because they're all wonderful people. And in the Vanguard community, I think everyone should be promoted and talked about, even Nexus Core. Until next time, don't forget about MCL40, and I've been the Silver Wolf, and it's technically Vanguard 40. I am too tired for this. Bye, everyone.